Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Brothers Part um, Super Mario Brothers 3 Part 17. This should be our last one, actually. What we need to do now is take on that tank and then go on to the actual castle of Bowser. I'm not sure how helpful Fire Flower is going to be here, but at least I have a power up, so I'm happy. Ah, you suck, never mind. This place isn't isn't really all that easy. It can get kind of annoying because there's stuff going on everywhere. There's always something flying at you from somewhere. Okay. I can't believe this is almost over. My first LP, and I'm almost done with it. I hope this lag issue I'm having today goes away, though. For some reason, my audio is really desyncing near the end. But then again, I'm pr it's probably also just because I just record it whenever it gets compressed and everything into a uh, Windows uh, Movie Maker and everything. It should it usually fixes the audio, at least it makes it a little bit better. And we're at the end. We did it. After this, all we have left is the actual castle, and we'll be done. Actually, I know this place is called something else in this game. I'm pretty sure it's like, uh, Castle of Koopa or something like that. I don't know, I just, I always call it Valley of Bowser just ever since I've seen Super Mario, Super Mario World. But in any case, we'll be taking our feather and a star, and we're going in. The Valley of Bowser. That's why I took a star. <laughs> Don't be confused, there's going to be doors and things that look like exits and stuff. And different paths to take. But there's really only one safe place, and I just screwed myself. Don't know why I sang it. Ah, uh, shit. See, this is right here is why you need a... F you don't need a feather, but it helps. And now I'm tiny, and now I have to fight Bowser, the tiny little midget. That's going to get my ass handed to me, because he's large. Oh, well. Next time, if I have to, I'll just come with the power wing. If, if I have to have enough time... I'm pretty sure he shoots. Yeah. <laughs> no, I thought he did, and I thought I was gonna die. No, oh, I thought he was gonna kill me too. Stop dying. Please, we'll stop dying. Ah, and we. I'm a retard. I cannot believe it. Value Bowser's castle after all this time, and I fail. You know what? Screw it. Don't need any items anyway. It seems like it'd be so much easier to both fly through all this. Ooh, it's almost lost it. Oh, what I don't like about using power rings is that annoying beeping sound it makes for the full power to run. Screw y'all, fireballs, I'm running. Shoot me now, douchers! I fly higher than you! That Bowser Flames, they suck too. You don't shoot. And here we are, buddy. Bowser. By far one of my favorite Bowser fights ever. <laughs> you can't shoot me because you're shooting through. Oh, never mind. Ah! Come on, Bowser. And it's over! Because <laughs> he's fat, he made me jump. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the very end of Let's Play Super Mario Brothers 3. Thank you. 
But our princess is in another castle. Just kidding. <laughs> I actually like that. Nice little throwback to original Mario Brothers. Bye bye. And then the credits roll for the, all the worlds and everything. I love this music too. Grassland World 1. Desert Land World 2. Water Land World 3. Giant Land World 4. That's why I called them lands for the most part at the beginning of my uh, LP, at the beginning of my LP in the descriptions. Skyland World 5. Actually, in the Super NES version, there's, uh, in the credits roll, they actually named all the places different. Iceland World 6. Like, this one was Iceland. Um, the first one was Big Island. Uh, some other stuff like that. This one was, like, Pipe Maze instead of Pipe Land for World 7. And then Darkland, World 8, which they called Castle of Koopa, I think. I do like, I like Darkland a little better, actually. And there it is, the end. I'm trying to remember if this will reset itself, or if I do, because there's a secret that you can get. I'm not sure if you press a certain button combination, you don't in, um... I don't think you have to in the Super NES version, but, um, I don't know, I don't seem to be doing it, but I'm going to check really quick. I'm sorry, now you can actually see this little panel, which is kind of stupid. Uh, I was trying to see if I get a uh, fast forward. You probably can, I just don't know what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm going to hit the reset and see if it does it. Wait a minute, emulator speed. Speed up. No, but just play some music, I guess. And yes, yeah, simulator speed, slow down. Okay, then, we're gonna hit reset. Now, I don't think it's gonna do it now, because I think there is something about combination, but I figure it's worth a try. Okay, why aren't you pressing start? Why do you have to hate me all of a sudden? There we are. Had it still configured to my other controller, sorry. Oh, no, I didn't do it, but, um... In the NES version, I don't know, it's a different combination that you do, and when you, you do that, you'll have all four rows, so the power rings. Um, however, in the SNES version, I'm pretty sure you just beat the game. I'll ask you to save and quit, and when you do and you restart it, I'm pretty sure you'll start over again with your power wings. But anyway, um... I've, when I'll find the code out, I'll put it in the description. I guess this is the end for our LP of Super Mario Bros. 3. Have a good day. I'll see you in my next one. Hope you enjoyed it.